Hey curl friends, welcome back to the Frizz and Frills channel. My name is Chloe. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of my curly tips and tutorials. Today, we're gonna be doing a little review on the new Not Your Mother's Hard Hold Gel and the new oil. Both of these products I'm pretty excited about, but the main one that I'm most excited about is the Hard Hold Gel. Now, this Hard Hold Gel has been, I feel like, a long time coming for Not Your Mothers. I have tried a lot throughout their line, whether it's their Curl Talk line, which is their main curl line, as well as a lot of their Not Your Mothers Naturals line stuff. I personally have found over the years that I've really liked the Naturals line actually more than necessarily the Curl Talk line, which is surprising considering I've got very, very curly hair. But my main problem with the Curl Cream and the gel that they had is that they just did not hold well enough. I have very highly porous hair. I live in a fairly more humid climate here in Wisconsin. It gets very, very humid, especially during the summer. I need something that is going to withstand all that humidity. Anytime I'm very active, I need something that is going to also last me multiple days, not just one or two days, because I like to wash every five to seven days. So let's get into this one and then we'll do this one next, okay? So the lasting definition, hard hold gel. That is what this is right here. Now, what I find is that most hard hold gels, the ones that really last a while, those ones have this ingredient right here. I'm gonna pop this up here for you. It's called Poil, <laughs> excuse me. It's called polyquaternium-69. Any of the ingredients that normally have poly at the front of them normally mean that they are going to help withstand against humidity and they're gonna help along with hard hold, okay? So that is what is the, the number one past water, okay? We got water and then the poly, all right? So those two ingredients are number one. Then we get down into it. We do still have glycerin a little bit lower, carotid amino acids, their Oriza sativa rice extract. That goes right along with their rice curl complex, which is the blend of rice, carotid amino acids, and enzymes to hydrate, condition, protect, and enhance curl retention. So I've now, Washed and styled with this twice since last week. It came out on August 15th. That was when it launched. And I have to say, it is stronghold. I wore it, I wore my hair down for I think like three or four days, and then I wore it up for like two more days. And even after I took my hair down, I feel like my hair could have probably been revived and it would have been fine, but I was ready to wash my curls. So that was pretty good. However, I think I used a little bit too much the first time because I wasn't sure how hard hold it really was gonna be. And in my head, I was like, well, most hard hold gels are still not hard hold enough. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely honest. So this one, I felt like I had almost too much product on my hair. It just kind of left my hair feeling like it had build up. When I would touch my hair, I could feel it on my fingers. And I just really was not much of a fan of it. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a second try and we're gonna try something else. So what I did is this wash day, and you can see the results here. And I really, really love the results that I got on this one because it didn't leave my hair feeling like it had a lot of extra build up but the hold on it has been still really nice. And so I did a mix of my favorite curl souffle from Curlsmith, and then I topped it off with this to help block out extra humidity. And y'all, it's been humid AF out there, and these curls are doing pretty well. Now, I haven't done a like lot of time outside over the past couple days, but so far, so good. I'm really liking the results. They feel soft, they feel touchable, um, but they also are holding up better than sometimes if I use the souffle on its own. So this is gonna be a win for me. It's very affordable. I'm popping the price up here. It's very, very affordable. And I really, I, I'm really liking it. I think you just have to learn a little bit sometimes how to use a product. That's why I always say to not just write off a product after the first try and you're like, mm, it didn't work. Because sometimes when you try a product, you might have used too much or you might have used too little or maybe used the wrong cream to go with that gel or vice versa or whatever it may be. That's why I always like to give products two or three times worth unless it literally I was like I literally hate the product if I hate the way it smells and the way it feels and like 
you basically the whole thing, then I probably won't give it a second go. But with this, I was like, okay, let's see, because it held really well, but I didn't like some of the things and I kind of had an idea that it was because I used too much. So overall, I'm gonna say try this out if you like a hard hold gel product definitely try it out and it does not add a crisp. You know how a lot of hard hold gels will add a crunch? This one did not add a crunch, which I thought was kind of interesting. So definitely give this one a go if you're looking for a hard hold gel. Now the next product that they also launched same day is their scalp and hair treatment oil, all right? This right here, it was very lightweight, all right? And smells smells very nice and light. It smells a little bit sweeter. The key oils they're talking about are sunflower, avocado, buriti, and marula oil. I'm a fan of all those oils normally in my hair. Any product that normally has those ingredients, normally a fan. I personally really liked it. I thought it was a good lightweight oil. I did not try it on my scalp yet. I just kind of used it over my overall hair and ends just to add a little bit of extra moisture to those and a little extra shine. And it did exactly that. Now, um, it does say that it's supposed to be good for scalp as well. I think that's something you can try. I don't normally do a lot of oils on my scalp because my scalp does not normally feel overly dry. Maybe that's something I would introduce during the winter, but it's summer and we're sweaty and it's just, it's just not the time. Now, something to note too within the Curl Talk line, all of their products are cruelty free, no sulfates, no silicones, no alcohols, no dyes, no parabens, no phthalates. And I'm pretty sure this one should be exactly the same because I think that's across their whole line for the new gel. Yes, all exactly the same. So if that's something that you are trying to stick towards a real like CGM type deal, which I think many of you know already that I am not a CGM girl anymore, used to, realized it was too stringent, not a fan anymore. But this one right here, I would say try it out. The main thing that I didn't like about this was, do you hear that? Do you hear the crunch? At first I thought I broke the bottle when I, when I like squeezed out some oil and I was like, what's happening? So I feel, yeah, it, it's just like a weird, it's a weird, sound and feeling when you're squeezing out a bottle, which to me just means that it was like cheap packaging, which is fine because they have a very affordable line. Like it's very, very affordable. So I mean, if that's really the only downfall in my opinion, it is fragrance. So keep that in mind if you need something fragrance free. But if you are good with a little bit of fragrance and you want something that's a very affordable scalp and overall hair oil, I think this one's definitely worth a try. See if it's something that you like. It's not really gonna do a lot for blocking out humidity because it doesn't really have a ton of thicker emollient type ingredients. In my opinion, these are very lightweight oils. So normally when I do something that's a lighter weight oil like that, it doesn't really do a lot to block out humidity. But when you pair this with high hold to block out the humidity and then you put this on top of it, you'll probably be just fine. And as you can see, my results today look pretty fantastic. I used a little bit of the curl cream and I also did use a little bit of my Kerastase curl cream because I know that that one pairs pretty well normally with most gels. So I added a little bit of that in just for a little extra added hydration. And then the curl cream and from the Not Your Mother's line, this, the souffle mixed together basically, souffle first, then I use this. I will have all the products listed below that I used to get these results today. Um, and then top it off with a little bit of this and it works pretty beautifully. So try it out. Let me know what you guys think. I think you guys should absolutely try these if you're looking for something that's more affordable and high hold or a lighter weight oil. So that's pretty much all we have today. It's gonna be pretty short and sweet, but if you are new here still and you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button so you always get to know what's going on with my curly tutorials, tips, and my reviews. And if you haven't already, please hit the like button so other curlies hear about this review as well. And until next week, guys, I'll talk to you then. Bye.